Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's honeymoon period at Manchester United is over. After going 11 matches unbeaten, United lost 2-0 to Paris Saint-Germain at Old Trafford in the first leg of their Champions League last 16 clash. They now face an incredibly tough task to progress to the quarterfinals. But, other than Tuesday night, it's been a tremendous start to life under Solskjaer. So much so that the Norwegian is now considered front-runner for the permanent job, ahead of Mauricio Pochettino. Whoever is the manager come the start of next season, it's clear United need to invest in their squad. Even Solskjaer suggested that the club need to spend this summer to compete with the likes of PSG in the Champions League. The defeat is a reality check. You can see the strength they have when they put those players in, but that's the level we want to get to," he said. We are looking to strengthen the squad. And then again we have so many young players to take a step up for next season. And now, according to The Mirror, Executive Vice Chairman Ed Woodward has identified United's four main summer transfer targets. The club are seeking a director of football to oversee transfers, but the report states that Woodward is aware significant investment is needed. And he knows that United need a central defender, a full back on both sides and a right-sided midfielder. In defence, Napoli's Caladou Calibaly remains their no.1 target. The Italian club will want close to £90 million for the Senegalese international, though. Elsewhere, Lucas Hernandez is wanted from Atletico Madrid because he can play both at centre-back and at left-back. On the right, Fiorentina's Nikola Milinkovic is seen as a cheap replacement for Antonio Valencia. Then, long-term target Douglas Costa is still wanted as he considers his Juventus future. Woodward clearly has a good idea which players he would like to see at the club, but it will obviously depend on a if they bring in a director of football and b who the manager will be.